Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be trying out Kenji NXZ official Ryujinx Android port for mobile devices on a low end Mali GPU Android device. So right here I have the Redmi K50i which has a Mali G16 GPU along with that only 6 GB of RAM out of which only 2 GB is actually available. Now if you guys don't already know Kenji NX is basically the revival of Ryujinx Android project with better compatibility for low end Android devices compared to any other Nintendo Switch emulator for Android. So let's get started with the setup by settings and gameplay. First of all we will need to go to user interface afterwards add all of the stuff that is required to emulate Nintendo Switch games on an Android device. Let me just go and do all of this and I'll be back. Once we have successfully set up this emulator you will notice that our games have been successfully recognized and we will be able to start playing them. But before we start playing we will need to apply some best settings so that we get the best amount of performance possible and amazing stability. So make sure to go to system afterwards in terms of vsync make sure to set it to unbounded afterwards DRAM size make sure to set it to 6 GB enable the performance mode option afterwards go to CPU make sure everything here is kept as default in terms of graphics settings we'll be decreasing our graphics resolution to 0.5x which is super stable and will provide us with the best amount of performance possible once that has been done those are the only settings that you'll need to enable if you also want to try out the Ryujinx Android we'll be testing out two games if these two games do not work then we'll be adding and trying out more games we have the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom as well as Pokemon Legends Arceus. Let's start with Pokemon Legends Arceus and we'll try out Tears of the Kingdom later on. So when you open the game for the first time it might crash so you'll need to reopen the emulator and reopen the game once again and here we go it says shader loaded as well as loading Pokemon Legends Arceus. So here we go our Pokemon Legends Arceus has successfully started. In the first go itself you'll be able to see it is working properly on a Mali GPU Android device. Now previously as far as I know this game never worked inside any Yuzu emulator folk version that I ever tried out. Unfortunately in Kenji NX we still do not have an FPS meter to tell us how much performance are we getting. Now there are two reasons why our game might crash. Even though this is officially my first time trying out this simulator, I think that the game might crash after the beginning cutscene. That is because the RAM which this device has is very less. 6 GB of RAM should not be sufficient for any high end Nintendo Switch game. But let's find out anyways because Kenji NX Android has already surprised us quite a lot in our last videos. So here we have the beginning cutscene and you will be able to see that it is being rendered properly without any graphical issues and as far as the gameplay experience goes there are no stuttering issues no lagging issues so I assume that this is running at straight up 30 FPS now this cutscene is pre-rendered but it still does lag on low end Android devices that's not the same case in Kenji NX Android because you'll be able to see no stuttering issues at all and this simulator is truly surprising me but what matters the most is will it boot will it actually go in game and render all the open world areas. Let's find out. Here we go Pokemon Legends Arceus. I am super excited for this. If it boots then this will be the first official Nintendo Switch emulator which is capable of booting Pokemon Legends Arceus on my Mali GPU Android device with only 6 GB of RAM. Now unfortunately guys even after 2 minutes of time it is still stuck at black screen. So what I'll do is try importing a save file and then I'll be back. Now that I have imported the save file it's time to start this game once again. And here we go our game has started. So game freak Pokemon Pokemon Legends RCS, let's just go ahead and tap the A button and start our game. You'll be able to hear even the audio output is working. But no guys after the beginning cutscene there is nothing that's being rendered. Unfortunately it means that the MediaTek graphics driver which is present inside my Android device is not capable of rendering the graphics for Pokemon Legends RCS. So let's try out our next game which is going to be the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. This is even heavier game than that of Pokemon Legends RCS but still I wanted to try it out regardless to see if it works or not. By the way games like Pokemon Sword, Naruto Ultimate Ninja Storm, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and similar games like Brilliant Diamond etc will work on this emulator on low end Android devices. No matter if you have a Mali GPU or Snapdragon but here we go it says Nintendo presents so our Tears of Kingdom is about to boot. So this is going to be super interesting. I have never tried out Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on any Mali GPU Android device. This is my first time trying it out and I can hear some crackles in the audio output and all we are seeing is a black screen. There is no FPS bar unfortunately so we can't even assume the performance which we might be getting and that's because we are just seeing a black screen and as you guys can see my entire device crashed because of the insufficient memory. 
As I told you before, this device does not have enough RAM to be able to emulate such high-end titles. So what I'll do is I'll import a low-end title and we'll see if that works or not. This is the last game that I'll be trying out which is the Need for Speed Hot Pursuit. Now this is neither a AAA title nor a small game. This is in between and I'm sure many of you guys have tried this out on Yuzu Android folks such as Citron, Sudachi and so on. But does it work on Kenji NX? Let's find out. Here we have the loading screen. It seems that all of the games actually boot. The only reason why Tears of the Kingdom crashed was because of insufficient RAM and the graphics actually did not work. To be honest, we were just seeing a black screen, so there might be an issue with incompatibility with newer Nintendo Switch games on this emulator. So here we have Need for Speed Hot Pursuit Remastered that we'll be playing, or at least try to play in this emulator. Let's tap the A button. So here our beginning cutscene actually started, and I pressed the A button to skip, but unfortunately it seems that our game has frozen. I'll give it a few seconds. So let's enter the career mode, and here we have the beginning cutscene of NFS Hot Pursuit. So here let's choose our Posh. Boxster choose the color and it seems good so far it is working properly and unfortunately guys as soon as I said that the game has frozen so in my opinion I think it all breaks down to not having enough RAM to run Nintendo Switch games on our Android devices. This device, I think if it had like 8GB of RAM, it would have had a really good chance in emulating these Nintendo Switch games. So do let me know in the comment section down below what do you guys think about this Nintendo Switch emulator. And if you guys have tried it out on your own Mali GPU devices, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching, goodbye and peace out.